Picture this career fair as a canvas of your dreams. Each booth, a unique stroke of inspiration. Embrace the spirit of exploration. Let curiosity be your guiding force. And remember, the choices you make today craft the masterpiece of your tomorrow. Approach with enthusiasm. Engage in meaningful discussions. And let the career fair be the cornerstone of your ambitions. A hearty welcome. Believe that your aspirations are the seeds destined for future success. A warm welcome to the career fair. Connections forged today set in motion a future where our passions gracefully align with purpose. Welcome to the career fair. <laughs> Doctors save lives, but teachers also save lives, because doctors <laughs> doctors save lives of the body, teachers save lives of the mind and the soul, and they're just as important as each other. Please welcome Dr. Ali Bekiraki. Me as a general surgeon, and I'm dealing mainly with uh, emergency surgery. You can uh, imagine the way of my life, the way I'm living. I'm receiving calls every one minute maybe. Uh, I don't have uh, a lot of time to rest. Everybody calls me during the midnight. I must answer, I must run to the hospital. Sometimes I must go in complicated surgery in order to save the lives. Flying is all about discipline. You cannot make a takeoff from a, uh, from a taxiway. You have to go into the runway to make a takeoff. Similarly, you cannot land in, out of a stipulated distance. So if you cannot do that, you will be making an overrun. continue taking uh, postgraduate like masters and doctorate in some uh, specific fields in nutrition for example I know so many of my friends who are doing uh, masters in human diseases uh, which are related with the nutrition how to deal with certain patients who have these uh, diseases we will watch a compelling video by Abdullah Turabish about the insight of political science how does the nation uh, advocate for its interests uh, on the global stage? What are the nation's interests? How does the nation even define its own interests uh, internationally? Right? What are the interests of Turkey vis-à-vis uh, -vis the rest of the world? What are the interests of the United States uh, in relation to the rest of the world? Right? And then international relations, of course, is to study how nations cooperate, compete, go to war. Uh, that's a position called ICRC after I completed my, my master's from UK. And the job was um, a legal officer for Southeast Asia. A very interesting job. Um, my role was to look at treaty ratification. Each country that has accepted a particular international norm, they are supposed to rectify those treaties. For an example, treaty on the Convention on the Child Rights or Women's Rights. The dentistry is not about fixing teeth. It's about what? Transforming lives. Everyone... Imagine if, if a patient comes to you and this is smile. Imagine his confidence in himself. Imagine the thing that when he speaks with people, when he, he will be shy, he will do like this, right? Up, after you treat him, look at the beautiful smile that he can have. So the whole life, he will, it will change for him. Please welcome Mr. Umar Marabba. Guys, there are terminologies here. We should know about them. And each university is different. Unfortunately, there are tons of major names. It's not like a unified in the world. Uh, computer science, quickly, is the more theoretical part of software engineering. So. For example, you might be a doctor, 
a practicing medicine or you might be a researcher. So computer science doesn't mean you are a researcher, but you're more in the theory part. Welcome to day two of the career fair. Ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to present to you the principal of our school, Mrs. Rima Lashi. But I do believe that studying double major helped shape the person who is standing in front of you right now. Because many of us have lots of feelings which cannot be expressed by words. Please welcome Mrs. Halima Amasla. I realized that as a journalist, if you really want to keep pushing, you have to be resilient enough to absorb all the pressures that you can encounter in any, in any newsroom in the world. Then time on those two years is make sure you maximize that enjoyment, maximize the experience. Try not to take it too serious, you know, have some fun here and there. Because after that, things might get a bit different. Everything that I'm studying currently, I've already studied here in Lisa. So it's actually, I, I've never seen, uh, I've asked my colleagues in other schools, I've never seen such uh, high, uh, high quality education. I really miss being sitting here um, when I was in high school just like you. A very, very wide field because you have civil engineering and environment with people, building cities, building infrastructure, uh, building bridges, whatever you can imagine, there is civil engineering there, some aspect of it. And, and since I lived in Dubai as a small kid, I loved the long towers and I was like, yes, I want to do that when I grow up, I want to build these. Please welcome Professor Abdullah Musiyoglu. What are the most important challenges you face in managing your charitable work? What of the Sahaba when he asked what do you want from a dunya? This, this life. He said, give me money, give me men. Two things. If you have two things, you will be successful. If you have two things, you will be hard. I was offered like for a payment for my leg, a prosthesis, for business, or a payment for my university because it was a private university. I got half scholarship, so either paid for this or this. Money was mine, the sponsor said. So at that time, I made the the thing that I never regret about. Like I chose university and studied the department that I liked, which was cinema, because I wanted to tell something, you know? Education and uh, uh, experience as a university journalist. No, we need both, right? We need both. Education uh, is a must. Education is a must. A successful person who has the mix of education and experience. Look at the top CEOs of the big corporate, that both they have education and experience. So, both, in my opinion. Yeah.